In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a Windows Form application uh, with PowerShell and PowerShell Pro Tools inside Visual Studio Code. In my environment, I have the current version of PowerShell Pro Tools installed, uh, as well as the current version of the PowerShell extension. So what I need to do to actually build a form is I need to go to the Explorer view here and then create a new file, um, and we're going to call this form.ps1. Uh, once you create a PS1 file like this, you're going to see in the top right, I have a Show Windows Forms Designer button. So when I click that, it's going to open PS Script Pad. So PS Script Pad is a PowerShell script editor as well as a form designer. So you can see here I've, uh, I have a designer available now. So I have this form.designer.ps1 file that's been created, and my form.ps1 file has been updated. So now if we click on the form, you'll see on the left-hand side, the properties view here has all the properties of the form. So you can uh, edit all those properties and then update the form accordingly. So for example, here I can change the title. And once I hit enter, you're going to see that the title has changed in my form. And then I can save that designer and it's going to update the form.designer.ps1 file. To add additional controls, you're going to want to click the text box uh, tab at the bottom here. That's going to switch over the text or the toolbox um, button. And that's going to switch over the toolbox, and the toolbox is going to have all the different controls that you can put on side, inside your Windows form. So I'm going to create a button, so I just click button, and then I click on my form, and it's going to create a new button. I can drag that control around and resize it, and if I click the properties tab, it's going to show the properties for that button. So I can update things like uh, click me. So now the text of the button says click me. Additionally, I can do things like adding event handlers. So if I double click this, um, this button here and then save this file, what you're going to see here is a button1.click event handler has been created. So that's going to be a PowerShell script that is invoked when um, this particular button is clicked. So let's go back to our form designer and actually add um, another label onto our form here. So I'm going to add a label. Um, I'm going to the properties, and I'm going to change the name of this to LBL label. And when I hit enter there, it's going to update that name. And when you change the name of it, it's actually going to be available as a variable inside your PowerShell script. So what I can do here is go to my form.ps1, and now I can reference that LBL label, um, and I can set properties on it like the text. So if I wanted to um, update this to clicked a button, um, I can do that, and then when I save that, what I can do is actually test out this form. So uh, in PS Script Pad, you can actually click the Run button, and it's going to start uh, PowerShell. And the bottom here, you can see PowerShell has started, and I can click this button, and now it updates the label based on that text that I set in my um, button handler. Additionally, if you want to run it inside um, VS Code, uh, you can go to VS Code and open your form.ps1 file. In this case, I'm actually running PowerShell 7 instead of uh, Windows PowerShell. Um, and PowerShell 7 supports Windows Forms as well. So I'm going to click the Run button here. And now you can see that it started um, my form inside PowerShell 7, and the button click still works. So in this video, we went over how to create a basic form with uh, PowerShell inside Visual Studio Code using PowerShell Pro Tools.